Hi folks, Neil from Spark Angels here, and uh, it's 2018. And of course, we uh, we ended 2017 with a scandal that is Battery Gate from Apple. Still yeah. So, Apple Battery Gate discovered by a young chap. But Battery Gate, what that is all about is the fact that, in a nutshell, Apple have admitted that our older batteries, so and batteries age by the way if you didn't know this already but older batteries is something in the software that basically tracks the battery stats and says you, you know you're coming to the age where we're gonna have to slow things down a little bit now that's life isn't it um, in a way I can see their point because what's happening and I don't know if you ever experienced it is that when you have your phone the classic battery aging issue is that your phone will get down to a certain percentage, it will start dropping dead. Uh, your phone will go off and it'll either power up and give you the battery logo, or after a few minutes you'll be able to power it up and it'll go back on. So even if it says 60% left, 40%, 20% left, it all of a sudden die, it won't get to zero. Now, that is a classic symptom of these lithium ion batteries that are dying. They age by shelf life, so they do have a shelf life, but they also age with the amount of charges that it has. Now, one common misconception is that they have a memory effect. Now, they don't. And I learned this in back in Formula One with Red Bull because I was in R&D for my last few years and did an awful lot of work on the very early days of the KERS system. Now, the KERS is the Kinetic Energy Recovery System. And that was incredibly uh, interesting because what my job was, from two pound Duracell AA's all the way up to there's a company in France called Saft, um, and they make cylindrical batteries um, that were ultra high power, that power satellites. And they were stupid money, they were like thousands of euros a battery. To put these batteries through their paces, they charge them up and discharge them as quick as and hard as possible, and as much as possible, before they pop. The more you charge them, the more the capacity drops, the actual capacity drops. And yeah, they just get older. Uh, as don't we all. So the amount they can do is less, again, just like old age. So, <laughs> with that in mind, Apple decided that the phone should detect the battery and how much capacity it has, which is easily done. I mean, there's, there's software they can do it, we use it frequently. And it will decide that the phone is going to throttle itself, almost like a low power mode that you get nowadays um, in the background to late, make that battery not only last longer, but not display as much of that, I'm gonna go to keep on, keep on going and die, uh, percentage where you still think you've got a battery life, because that's, and I see their point. This is it, I see their point. I can see it from both sides, because what you don't wanna do is need to make an emergency, emergency phone call, but they're emergency, an emergency phone call, and you go, oh, that's all right, I've got 40% left, pick up the phone, it dies, because that, is no good and that will leave you in the poop. So I understand why, why Apple are doing this. And again, you're not gonna to wanna to be sat there with an iPhone that constantly shuts off and everything. So they try to minimize that. They can't they can't knock it off all completely, but they try to minimize that with no fuss, with little fuss, without having to flash up warnings to you and make you worry. They just do it in the background. And now I get why they do that because at the end of the day, they'll only turn people off of their brand and they don't want that. And they don't want to force you into a corner to have a battery replacement. So they're trying to do a little bit of software menagerie to make your battery last longer in that device. I get it, okay? I get it, I'm probably one of the, you know, I'm probably one of the only people that does. If you want, comment below. But I don't think they needed to apologize because they're doing it for your own good. Maybe they could have been a bit more open about it, but it'll just give you something more to worry about. Well, there's enough to worry about it as it is. So, there you go. That's my spin on it anyway. So that's Apple Gate, uh, Apple Battery Gate. Um, a storm in a teacup? I don't know. Massive breach of trust? I don't know. I don't think so. But uh, it's an interesting one, Apple Battery Gate. Um, storm in a teacup? Or massive abuse of trust to the consumer? Let me know, comment below. It'll be interesting to see what you think. I think it's more storm in a teacup than anything else. And I'd actually think they were trying to help. Um, but there you go. And like I said, I think Steve Jobs would have probably turned around and said, we're doing it for your own good. Like it or lump it. Go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, like the video and share it if you feel the need. Thanks for watching.